So I'm gonna try to try this and cool watch and I'll leave them. You see all these kind of heights? Like they make these things. I like things to be what they are. Like at least either you're a cleanser or you're a moisturizer. Like I don't the whole a cool wash that could be a leave-in, that 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 kind of heights. So I really don't know about that. But it might make for interesting TV. Rinse it, put it back. <laughs> I don't know, but we'll see. Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Coming to you with a nice big hair day. And I actually get hair comments anytime I wear my hair like more in an afro state, so I'm expecting the hair comments, but I don't care. Learn to love yourself. Anyhow. So yeah, coming on to do a curls and potions review. A part two, I guess, because I did one before, as you guys saw. And definitely check that out first, maybe, to get some context for this one. But basically, I did a Curls and Potions demo and review last time, and the owner was really nice and recommended that I try her leave-in under the curling jelly. So I'm back to do that. So I got the Not Tonic leave-in, which she recommended. I'm still using the curling jelly again. I will talk about how it behaved differently this time. And I picked up this special extra treat, the Sweet Fixer Elixir. So I'll definitely be reviewing this one as well. <laughs> Spoiler, I loved it. Okay, try not to talk about it. Love it. Okay. So I mentioned in my whole video that it said it could be a co-wash or leave it and I was a bit lost and confused at that. So I decided to come and test it out for you. Just for the hair, just to try it. And just to let you guys know in case you were curious, as I mentioned in the whole video, the ingredients are kind of right down the middle of cleanser and leave-in. I followed the directions so just to make sure I had everything right. But you know, it basically said just use it as any other co-wash and any other leave-in. So nothing too special to the directions. As a cleanser, I would say that it's a very gentle cleanser, as in probably not to use if your hair is actually dirty, but if you just want a little refresh, maybe it would do the trick for you. So I don't think I'll use it as a co-wash again. Not that it was bad, but it just wasn't quite cleansing enough for me. And I felt like it left a slight, slight deposit on my hair. Like not a lot, but since I don't put coating things on my hair, like when it does happen, I recognize it instantly. Well, I guess I don't put coating things as a rinse out. So I personally wouldn't use it as a co-wash, but definitely give it a whirl and see. So it did have a slight amount of foam and it does have some cleansing ingredients. So it definitely made my hair feel cleaner than before. I wouldn't say it did nothing. It just didn't go up to cleansing enough to be co-wash level for me. But I do like that it distributed well and refreshed my scalp refresh my hair so my scalp is ready for the week i don't feel like my scalp is dirty or anything like that but i just use very light products so this is just more of a caution if you use like silicones and stuff this ain't the co-wash for you boo basically anywho's yeah so when i rinsed out the co-wash because i'm using it as a co-wash now when i rinsed out the co-wash my hair was just a soft fluff so it did feel slightly coated but it also felt soft and moisturized so that's what I got. I got a soft, moisturized, very slightly deposited on fluff. 
and I expect a leave-in to the person. If you guys use any 3-in-1s, I know the main choice is popular. If you use a 3-in-1 as a cleanser and a conditioner, let me know in the comments below. But then on to the good news, the Sweet Elixir Fixer. So I love this. It was just light, it smelled great, penetrated well, like instant moisture, great slip. Yay! <laughs> Yay for this. I just love chocolate. I love the scent. I feel like it's aromatic. Plus it works really well in your hair. And it's moisturizing. And then she had the honey as well, which is also moisturizing. So I was looking forward to a great wash day and I wasn't disappointed. It was kind of interesting because it was just super light. It didn't like weigh down my hair at all. So if you have fine hair, definitely fine hair approved. Definitely low porosity approved. And I really enjoyed using it. It kind of reminds me of the Bakura Coco mask, I guess but it's less oily and probably lighter than that both of them work well so don't even know if i can choose one over the other but this one definitely probably priced much better because you know that mercury is crazy expensive so this one i'll definitely be repurchasing which is good because i wanted to try more of her stuff i want to try her rice stuff and her chibi stuff so yeah another close and push that's all coming up and i will definitely include this and i'll probably check out some more of her deep conditioners if she has them this was my favorite from everything as you can tell, loving it, yeah. So when you open it, you're like, yeah, this is cocoa, and you can see it's running a bit, so it is a light consistency. It smells probably more like honey, like a slightly sweet honey cocoa scent, but I love the scent. And it's not super strong. And again, it smells pretty natural, so it's almost kind of, I wouldn't say whipped, it's just light. I don't know how, let me see if I can. This is the texture, so it is, I guess, slightly whipped. It looks almost like edible, but don't. <laughs> And it just goes in really nice and everything. So this was a winner for me, for sure. Definitely. Can't wait to get some more. Love the scent too. <laughs> Soft, moisturized, great slip, just everything you want from a deep conditioner. So after I rinse this out, I'm back to the nut tonic as a leave-in. <laughs> so I would say I liked it better as a leave-in. I felt like it had great slip and I felt like it was moisturizing. And I felt like it defined my curls really well as well. I'm going to try it again as a leave-in. Maybe I might try both of these again and put a different styler on it. Because in the first video I tried this with the Sultanicals leave-in and it didn't work that well together. But when I used this over this, the slip was great and the moisture was great. So, if I try this and this and put a moisturizing gel over it, I'm expecting perfection. So, my first try with the curling portion, the curling portion was just too stiff and not moisturizing enough for my hair. So, it left my hair kind of frizzy, but crunchy and kind of dry and everything was going on. This combination, my hair doesn't feel dry, it feels more moisturized. It was interesting in terms of the color too, but I like how she keeps her stuff more natural. Like I just feel like it's more natural. I feel like I'm in her kitchen with her and she's like, you know? So I love when products are like that as opposed to just over formulated and over stripped of the goodies. Give me the good stuff. So yay. It's a nice light creamy lotion. Let me try to get some of it to the other side to show you. It works in really nice. So no issue with that. And my 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 hands and my hair, I guess, feel nice and moisturized. 
and I like the set, it has a nice pretty set. So I do feel happy about the leave-in and happy about the deep conditioner. The deep conditioner was a definite yes and kind of top of the pile. Leave-in was a definitely a good leave-in and I'll definitely probably be purchased at least once. I have to try it again when my mind's not a complete blur from just all the excitement of co-wash leave-ins and amazing deep conditioners, I guess. And then I used the curling jelly over the nut tonic. And as you guys saw before, it's a cream. And it does have a light hole. So I wouldn't say it has no hole, but it's definitely a light hole. It's kind of thick too, which is nice. It's interesting. So it's pretty thick. Like not super duper thick. It's still a cream, but it's not like a light whipped cream. It has like a solid feel to it. Let me show you how the cream goes in. So as you can see, it's pretty kind of thick, but it works see nice. If you like bigger hair, and if you're looking for a light hold moisturizing jelly like cream then try it i think it'll probably be great for twists and stuff so you guys who like like a little hole in your twisting cream definitely give it a try for that but i enjoyed it with my wash and go i don't want to go into too much detail because i've reviewed it already but <laughs> let me just do it again just so everything will be clear i guess the ingredients are great i think in everything the ingredients are great and i like the performance of pretty much everything that i tried today my hair is big, but you can still see some definition. So I may not get through the week, but I'm definitely going to enjoy a couple of days of big hair with this wash and go. And I love it. So no need to tell me that my hair, what that, what do people say? No need to tell me that the product didn't work for me just because my hair is big. People are such like Afro haters, it's ridiculous. Big hair is a look, it's a look people can actually want and go for and enjoy. Loving my hair, it's big and I like the combination and I do feel like my hair is more moisturized than last time. But I'm, I will also try with a gel over it eventually. So who are the Kirsten Potions fans? Let me know in the comments below. Which products do you like? Chat with me. Let's talk. Let's talk. Definitely check out her website. Like I mentioned, she has like rice stuff. She has like chai based stuff. Her deep conditioner is awesome. I love the leave-in as well. Plus, some of her proceeds go towards breast cancer research, as I mentioned before. So, definitely check it out. And happy shopping, happy peaching, happy natural hair product buying and using to all. <laughs> Let me know if you use three in ones, like something that's a cleanser and a leave-in at the same time as well in the comments below just to let me know about that. <laughs> I hope you had fun. I hope this was informative. I hope it helped you out. But yeah, that was it. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll definitely see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>